and we are just over one week away from Georgia's Senate runoff race uh, runoff election on December 6th, but select counties can actually head to the polls tomorrow. Earlier this week, the Georgia Supreme Court refused to block counties from offering early voting on Saturday. Atlanta News First reporter Rachel Aragon is in downtown Atlanta explaining who can cast their ballots early. At least two dozen counties here in Georgia will offer early voting tomorrow. Well, several voters we spoke to right here in Fulton County say they are excited to make their voice heard once again as the state heads into another runoff election. For a handful of voters in Fulton County, it's important to have your voice heard, and so I'll be out there early. Saturday's plans include heading to the polls. And they said, what are we going to do Saturday? I said, we're voting. Counties in Georgia are not required to offer early voting on Saturday, but many have said they will, including Fulton, DeKalb, Cobb, Douglas, Henry County, and Gwinnett County. Make sure we get all the equipment out. Gwinnett County Election Supervisor says the county has been preparing for Saturday. We feel pretty comfortable going ahead and opening all 11 locations that we had um, open for the for the general election. So we're in a good spot. The Senate runoff election between incumbent Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker could draw a big turnout. I think probably the most important thing is to go to your local um, whatever office is closest to you. Elections offices say that could help limit how long you and others have to wait in line. When voters spread out and go to their local uh, office, it's, it's, it's made it much easier for us to process people when we spread out that, um, you know, spread out voters across all 11 sites. And some counties here in Georgia are offering limited early voting tomorrow, meaning election officials are encouraging you to check online to see which polling locations within your own county are open and at what times. Reporting in downtown Atlanta, Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First.